Hello. It's me. <laughs> uh, I'm Graham, as you all probably know. And uh, well, we're in my Back to Eden garden. I know, right? Not something, um, not something I ever thought would actually ever happen. Let's just be totally honest. Um, I, uh, I never ever imagined actually having a Back to Eden garden. I knew there were possibilities, you know, being able to buy a house and then eventually being able to, to purchase and get wood chips and do it, but never, never actually thought it was going to happen. Just being honest with you, I didn't, didn't think. So, um, anyways, this is a vlog. <laughs> I haven't done a vlog in a long time. Um, but, uh, I thought I'd come out here for a little bit and sit with you and, um, just talk about whatever's on my mind. And at this moment in time, I'm not sure where this video is going to go and what exactly is on my mind. Um, a lot has happened in the last two months. I've shown you a little bit here and there. Um, and I've talked about things that I want to do or would like to do, that kind of thing. But, um, so, so far, uh, I started getting wood chips. Uh, it's now, what is this, July, I think today's July 13th, I think, or 14th of 2018. Now, I started getting wood chips delivered here to this property on, um, what was it? May 27th was my first load of wood chips, which was actually dumped right here. <laughs> and um, since then, I have received now, I want to say, I think my, my last count was 30, 31 loads, I think is what I've gotten so far. But I, let's be fair, the truck that does deliver my wood chips is quite small uh it is just a, an f-250 i believe it's an f-250 uh pickup truck just a regular pickup truck and it's got a big like box that goes on it that can tilt um and uh, uh it's just just a regular truck basically so in actuality probably 15 loads in total is really what it, it is but the truck that brings my my chips to me is um it's quite a small truck so what i did um we uh, we knew that we were going to be closing um on the 23rd of of may and so we said okay well we're going to be closing let's see if we can find wood chips i want to get started as soon as possible uh that way by spring i can have the entire property completely covered that's this year's goal is to prepare for next year. Uh, I don't want to, um, I didn't want to go slow and do a little here, a little there. I just wanted to get it all covered. Um, I am not a fan of grass. I don't like grass. I don't like having to pay to water grass. I don't like to mow grass, the maintenance of the lawnmower, the paying for the gasoline for the lawnmower and having to get the weed whacker. I, I don't want grass. And if I had it my way, I'd eliminate all the grass on my property. Unfortunately, uh, the wife doesn't like that idea. <laughs> uh, she prefers there to be grass. So, okay, cool. I respect that. Um, I can give you some grass. And so that's what we've done. We've compromised. And um, the, the grass circle that I have over here is, uh, uh, I think it's about 17. Uh, we planned on 15 15 feet across. I think it turned out to be like 17 feet across. Um, and then there's grass that goes behind me. This is where the secret garden is going to be. It's back here behind me. Um, and uh, there's going to be a movie screen and more plants and all kinds of stuff. It's going to be cool. Um, and then out front uh, of the house, there's a, a thing of grass. So... Um, we kind of compromised. There's a little bit of grass 
and eventually the grass will end up going it'll end up disappearing and uh, they've got this brand new product on the market actually it's it's an old product but they've revamped it um, to the point where it's very realistic and it's got like a 20 year shelf life um, it's like an astroturf but it's it's artificial grass but it's got thatch and stuff in it and very realistic and that's the direction we're gonna go uh, we did have a company come out and they looked at how we're, we're gonna have grass and everything and uh, they said that in order for cost wise in order for us to have it uh, we're looking I, I think he said something like um, ten thousand dollars or something like that for for them to come and install it and put it in and everything uh, which would require them to rip out the the soil that we have now put down a sub layer of gravel and then lay lay the grass in on top so that's fine we'll get there eventually uh just not not right now um that's kind of not not a hundred percent of a pri not a big priority let's put it that way um so uh that's kind of a compromise so we can have some grass uh Okay, so to acquire, let me go, I'm jumping around a little bit. Uh, acquiring the wood chips, which is where I was at, um, I called about five different places that do wood chips or, or ar arborists. They're called arborists. They do, um, they, they create wood chips. And out of the five companies that I called, um, four of them said they'd put me on a waiting list, um, which I thought was kind of. <laughs> Which I thought was kind of strange. He's gonna bark again. There it is. Um, so I thought I thought that was kind of strange that they would put me on a waiting list. But okay, you know, four of them said, you know what, we'll go ahead and take your information. We'll put you on a waiting list. If we get any wood chips, we'll give you a call. I tried to explain to them that I want a lot of chips. <laughs> I have a half an acre of land, and I'm trying to cover all of it. And none of them have called me back except for one. And this guy called me very quickly. Did not take him, not, did not take him very long at all. Um, and uh, he calls me and he's like, so you, you need a bunch of wood chips. I'm like, yep. He's like, all right, well, I'll tell you what. If you make me a deal and you be my exclusive place, you know, um, I'll give you as many wood chips as you need, but you can only have wood chips from me. And I'm thinking... I wonder if this guy can even give me enough wood chips to do that, because uh, I, I would like to do that. I just don't know if that'll give me what I need. And gone over it, and I'm like, okay, sure, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I'm thinking, you know, he's going to bring me one load of wood chips a week, and it's not going to happen. Well, uh, yeah, uh, the first month, I think I got... The majority of my wood chips um, and then as the summer is progressing the hotter it's getting it's become it's slowing down a lot um, I'm not getting I think I'm getting one to two loads a week now um, I uh, it had slowed down considerably and I'm okay with it slowing down um, it gives me time to get other stuff around here done uh, we're still in the process of moving in, believe it or not. I still have stuff in storage, uh, which we're going to go get today. And hopefully, crossing fingers, um, uh, today uh, or even tomorrow morning, we'll be completely done with getting all of our stuff out of storage. So that's kind of the goal. We're going to do a lot of work around, around here. Uh, I have to go back to work. So I've taken two weeks off. Um, and on Monday I go back to work and go back to the grind. And so gotten a lot done. Doesn't feel like it because there's so much more to do, but we got a lot done and, um, I'm pretty satisfied with the, these last two weeks and how much we've gotten done. If we can get every, the rest of the stuff out of storage, we'll be, we'll be right where we need to be, I think. Um, so that's kind of the, kind of the goal. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the goal, getting, getting the rest of the stuff out of storage, and that's going to be wonderful, that's going to be so nice to, to get to that point. 
Uh, there's a, a ton of things that need to be done still, um, and uh, hopefully uh, I can get some of that done. Uh, we didn't get to go camping this year, so well, I'm summer for us is pretty much over now that I go back to work, but um, we bought a house, and that's the kind of the compromise uh, this year is getting the house done and together and ready and put in place. Oh, I'm being beckoned. Hold on a second. Yeah? Uh, let's just do a paragraph and let's make it about our new house. All right. Thank you. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Uh, I like the idea. Love you. <laughs> um, it's summertime, so we're still homeschooling. So, um, and and we homeschool in the summer um, to keep the kids um, still learning and moving along. So that way, when they go back to school, they they're not taking the next two months after they go back to school to try to get back to where they were before they left school, which. Oh man, is that ever a big deal? I, I don't understand why we take three months off in the summer. That makes no sense. I honestly, I could understand maybe two weeks. Let's take two weeks off in the summertime for schools. And then throughout the rest of the year, instead of five, day, instead of five days a week uh, going to school, how about four days a week go to school? So you get three, you know, three days on the weekends. You're making up the same amount of time. Anyways, whatever. Um, but then again, I think the work week should be four days, four day week, work week and three days off. <laughs> but, um, okay. So I'm sitting underneath this apple tree, which by the way, needs to be trimmed up considerably. And in June, I had a lot of apples fall and that's June drop and they're falling again. Uh, a lot of them. Um, all of my trees on the property are way overgrown, uh, unmaintained, at least for like the last 15 years. And they all need to be seriously thinned out and, uh, and redone. They all are horrible overgrown. So that'll be something I do in the spring. Um, anyways, where was I? Uh, bringing in wood chips. Yeah, that was great. So anyways, um, Sometimes, you know, depending on where you're at, wood chips can be really difficult to get a hold of. Um, you know, and it can be a challenge depending on where you live in the country and that kind of stuff. So, um, and I understand that. And I got really, really lucky finding someone to bring me wood chips. Really lucky. Um, when I'm, my property is full of wood chips, I have this resource that's still coming in and I wish I had another place where they could dump wood chips. And I think what I'm going to end up doing is um, I'm going to end up dragging it out. As soon as the backyard is completely done with wood chips, um, I have a side yard over there. Um, I'm seriously thinking about letting them pile them up as high as we can over there and letting them sit over there. And that way I've got a resource of wood chips just sitting there waiting because I know for a fact that once the whole property is covered after that, if I need more wood chips, they got to dump it in my driveway. And, um, yeah, no, that's a pain in the butt. Cause you got to move it and clean it and move it and clean. And, uh, so yeah, not, not something I'm, that's something I want to end up doing. I don't want to. I don't want to have it in my driveway if I don't have to. But I like having that resource. So um, a lot of these areas that were original uh, laid out, I'm gonna end up coming in and putting even more chips on top of them, make them nice and thick, especially underneath the trees, the apple trees. I think right now I dumped. Um, I think it when I first dumped the chips, I think it came out to around 20 to 24 inches deep. And now they've settled considerably. And I think now the chips are probably about 10 inches deep. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, 
uh, go back over it and do another load underneath the trees. And so then that way there's closer after the comp, you know, they go down because they compact down a little bit. Uh, they'll be closer to 16 inches in depth underneath the trees. Uh, and I'm okay with that. Um, I don't plan on planting underneath the trees for a couple of years. Um, kind of like the open space. So um, it will give us a place to congregate and play and be other than just the grass. My kids are still quite young. And I know that another, in my, well, my um, I have a seven and eight year old that live at home. And um, I know in, a, in another four years, five years, they're gonna wanna be outside and play outside. Usually around 13, 14, they start finding other things um, of interest other than you know chasing each other around the yard and that kind of thing. So, um, and if they start showing lack of interest on being outside, uh, then we will um, start planting stuff underneath the trees. But for right now, uh, I think I think this works. The things that I want to bring into my yard are um, things that are going to come back every single year. Um, hold on a second. Yes. Hold on one second. You're going to what? I will. When are you coming back? Okay. Love you. Mm. Okay. Got to wrap this up. Um, so, um, anyways, the, the thing I wanted to plant here, um, primarily on this area, so underneath the trees and, and in this, this section, is stuff that's going to come back every year. Uh, a lot of uh, fruits and, and that kind of thing, um, berries and, and um, that kind of thing. And then I can plant in stuff that can, needs to be planted every now, you know, every year. Um, but um, I want to stay closer to uh, berries and fruit and, and that kind of thing in this area. And then in the garden, which it's a completely separate space, fenced off space, um, will be for uh, my annuals. So uh, those will all every year like tomatoes and peppers and um, kale and, and broccoli and um, that kind of thing will uh, have to um, be redone every single year and that'll be its own defined space behind a gate uh, to protect it from uh, people walking across rows because I want to I want to do it in rows and keep it nice and organized uh, but um, we're gonna end up having underneath the apple trees here we are going to end up having some uh, chickens is the plan. And so I'm going to have to build a chicken coop and stuff. Um, but um, that's kind of the kind of the, the direction that we're going. Um, and then the waste that they create, the chickens create, will end up moving, um, uh, uh, being sifted, because uh, I don't want any of the big particles, but uh, we'll end up moving into the garden space. And that'll be... Uh, layered in the garden. Uh, it's this whole system, if you know anything about Back to Eden Garden, um, it is very much a no-till, no-dig uh, setup. It is kind of mimicking Mother Nature where you layer on top of each, uh, you know, you, you put down new layer stuff, new layer stuff, new layer stuff. And so, like I was saying, you know, um, I think what I'll end up I want to. Ha I have this resource that comes to me, you know. Now I have a phone number of a guy who can bring me wood chips whenever I need them, and I want to maintain that resource uh, as much as I possibly can um, because I do have to replenish this over time. Now, because I've laid, I'm going to underneath my trees. I'm going to lay it really thick. I mean, we're talking, like I said, about 16 inches of wood chips. I won't have to um, lay down more chips 
you know, for a few years. But in other areas, I, you know, where it's thinner, um, you know, we're talking five, six inches. Uh, every few years, I'm going to have to throw more on top. So I need to have that resource. So anyways, I'm rambling on. Um, I don't expect to have any apple tree or pear harvest out of this yard this year. Um, I just, I don't expect it to happen. And I'm okay with that. It, that, that doesn't, not bothering me at all. Um, I'm, I'm really okay with not getting any fruit off the trees this year. And I know that, um, over time, it is just the soil quality is just going to get better and better and better. And the trees are going to have more and more water and, and, and more nutrients and moisture in them. And the bugs will slowly go away. Um, every one of these apples that I've picked up, oh, and then I go and I pick one up. Um, well, not all of them. Most of these apples that I'm picking up all have um, bugs in them. Uh, they, they just, the way it is. Some of these apples that are on the ground right now, they um, just drop. The, the tree is under either stress or there's too many apples on the tree, which there's a ton, uh, where the tree just is feeling like it's just, it can't maintain or take care of, take care of that much. I am bringing the trees down. Uh, all the apple trees on my property are considerably coming down in height. Uh, if I can't, uh, if I can't reach it from standing on the ground, I have no interest in those branches and that those leaves. And in order to trim these trees and bring them down where they need to, and I'll go over this in other videos, but um, to bring them down to where they need to be, it's going to take me about four or five years um, removing a branch, you know, a couple of branches here and there. Don't ever, ever take off more than one third of your tree uh, at one time. That's total mass. Um, I, my thought is, let's go less than that. Let's say, let's not remove more than a quarter of the tree at one given time. Um, and um, maybe this weekend I'll show you um, a situation where I did take off more than I should have. And now it's being, it's July. I got to go in and, and de-sucker them uh, because there's just water sprouts everywhere on these trees. So, but I, I'll, I'll go in and, and do that. And uh, hopefully I'll, I'll be able to take you along for the ride. Hopefully I get time to go do it this weekend. I need to go do it this weekend because I got to go and get more bricks. And so I'm hoping early in the morning um, I'll be able to head over there and spend a couple hours really early in the morning, get all the suckers off, and then go get bricks, and then be home um, to unload bricks. So, but there's a lot. I got a lot I got to do. I got a lot of stuff that's got to happen. Um, just having the energy to do it, and when it's 104 degrees outside, it's pretty hot, and I, I don't know about you, but I don't like working when it's hot outside. Okay, um, I gotta go check on the kids, make sure that they're uh, they're getting their their school work done. All right, I want to say thank you so much for spending the time with me. If you're still watching my videos, I, I you know watching, I greatly appreciate it. You know that you are the reason I do this. Um, so um, I could name so many people. You're the reason I come out here, and you're the reason I talk to the camera, which in actuality, I feel like I'm talking to you personally, the one that's still sitting here, still watching. Um, you, There's only a few of you that do, but you guys have been friends, and you've been amazing, and it's comforting to read the comments and the encouragement to keep going and keep keep learning and keep growing and keep showing uh, the progress and the things that I do and I want to thank you if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button show the love share my videos uh, if there are comments in the comment section uh, down below um, go check out their channels uh, and and if you like what you see subscribe to them um, as well share 
and learn. I mean, we're, we're a big community here of people. Um, and, uh, I just, I think it's, it's pretty damn close to necessary to, um, stay with each other there, you know, there's not very many of us, um, gardeners, you know, on the, on this channel that aren't massive. We've got a bunch of gardeners, um, on YouTube that are huge massive and, and a very large number of them are really good people um, but when you get to a certain size of you you know of viewers or subscribers um, a lot of people can have the tendency to, to kind of get stuck in a world and it gets to be a little overwhelming and um, they start feeling the pressures of performing and putting on new videos and um, Anyways, I, I just going off another tangent there, but whatever. Show the love, show the respect, show the care, show the, the check them out. Um, anyways, you you are the reason I do this. Um, the reason I I come out here and I talk and I show you things and I tell you about stuff and I'm bringing you along for the ride. It's because of you. You're the one. You know, you you sit and listen to me this entire time. You know, you're the person I'm talking to. You're not the person I'm... Uh, the person I'm talking... I'm not talking to the one that listens to me about three or four minutes. And then wants to leave me a comment and then leaves again. You know, and leaves and doesn't listen or watch the entire video. I'm talking to the person, always talking to the person that sits through the entire thing. I mean, we've been sitting here almost a half hour and uh, you're the one I talk to. You're the one that, that I care about. You're the one that, that means the world to me. So anyways, I just want to say I respect you. I respect your garden, your yard. I love you guys very, very much. Um, and um, if you did make it this far, will you do me a favor? Will you go down in the comment section and type in, I'm here? Just, I'm here. Put that in the comment section down below if you made it this far. Um, that way I can see how many people really do. Um, but anyways, I gotta get going. I got responsibilities and things gotta get done. So, love you and uh, I'll talk to y'all really, really soon. Bye for now.